minority population and 4,500 people have disappeared off the register so I know it's cold and it's like we're really tired because it's day 14 on the Novo No voice bus but 10 super activists are waiting for us there so um, Headingly here we come the minute we're in Hyde Park which is a great kind of students area uh, and if any students have actually actually got up by now then uh, then hopefully we'll be able to register a few people to vote. It should be about 15 people of us uh, just you know walking through. We've got students from both universities in Leeds as well. I think it's really important because I think a lot of students don't necessarily realise that you need to register to vote now before the 20th of April in order to vote in the election. It's really easy to get to the day, think that you do want to vote and then you can't. Yeah, so basically this is where this is where you come after your first year in, in halls and you come and live here in one of the houses here. We've seen kind of a rise in student politics and if you look at, so Leeds has been doing their own student elections, people get really into it when it's targeted towards them. And it's great because most of the, most of the houses have you know five or six students living in them. Uh, I'm sure they'll like the bus if they can see it. If we can get it round all of the tight corners. Well, two, two, and they both uh, both registered to vote, which is great, so they're really on the ball, and they've taken information for the other people in their house, but they seem very alert and aware that they need to be registered to vote. It's absolutely crucial. Seven million people who are eligible to vote aren't registered. That's something worth changing. The University of Leeds has been doing a push to get everyone to register to vote and that definitely really helps as well. And I think the coverage of the election's been quite exciting this time around. So I think hopefully people will be interested. It's definitely about hope and that you can change things and if you don't have a vote, you don't have a voice. Some of the students were registered to vote but they were registered home and it was a case, where are you going to be on election day? You're going to be here most likely, so make sure you register to vote here. So those who were uh, awake enough <laughs> to pick up a pen and register to vote did so. But then all of them, all the rest have been left with a reminder that make sure you register to vote by the 20th of April and then go out and vote. Make sure your voice counts on the 7th of May. No vote, no voice. I got one. I think because he was doing his dissertation, so he was like, cooler distraction. We've just been going around talking to students from Leeds and also from Leeds Beckett, just inviting them to register to vote because it's really important. And a lot of students aren't registered, and it means that, you know, our voice isn't heard. like can really make the difference and if, and if politicians know that we're registered and we're out there and we care they'll listen to us and they'll listen to what we have to say but if we're not registered they have every excuse to ignore us and they will. I've had a really good response a lot of people sort of were like oh yeah I've meant to do that but I, I just haven't I haven't got around to it so they were really glad we were there. No points, no points. It was really positive and I had a really good time. The number of people like I've spoken to today and like weeks previously who are like, oh, I have to register and they just don't know. And it's not that they don't care and it's not that they don't want to have a voice. It's not about not wanting to do it or not wanting to participate. It's just that we, ha we don't get taught about politics in school. We don't get any of that. So we all just, just don't know. And I think it's really important to get out there and talk to people and start changing that. No vote, no voice. It's a